Um, okay, so today I just have a bunch of complexion products that are new to me that I really want to try. Yeah, not like a ton, but like a significant enough amount that it's gonna be like the majority of a face. So I'm gonna start off by color correcting underneath my eyes. You've actually seen this, but it is still kind of new to me. Um, it's the NARS under eye corrector and I really like the color of it. It's like super peach and it seems to be, you know, it's pretty liquidy, it's very hydrating. So I'm using this Fenty brush just to pat it out directly under my eyes. Um, the skincare combination is going to be important for this video because we're obviously testing out complexion products. So today I used a combination of my own next in a very small amount. My Aven Cleanance Hydra moisturizer. I have a little bit of one of the like more lightweight eye cream from Aven under my eyes. And then I finished off with the sunscreen by pipe, the mineral sunscreen by pipette, um, which was recommended to me by Gabby. Uh, she has very dry skin and it's been really great for uh, the days when I use my own next in because it can be very drying. I'm also wearing the new Auric um, like lip balm thing, lip lip ritual, I think it's called. Um, I mean, I they sent me the shade Bear plus plush ritual. Sorry, um, I love it so far. But like, I only started using it last night, so we'll see. Um, all right, so I am actually going to be trying a foundation today, which is like kind of crazy because I sort of stopped wearing foundation. For those of you who don't know, skincare. Sunscreen, it's been my priority. So, and since my skin's been very clear, I'm just like, fuck foundation, you know? But I got the, uh, I actually picked this up. Um, it says to shake before use. This is the new HD Skin Foundation. HD Skin Untec Undetectable Stay True Foundation. Okay, one Y08. So my biggest thing with Makeup Forever has been the shade colors. <laughs> Excuse me, I just like choked on my words. Um, the sh did I say the shade colors? The shades? I feel like most things either end up looking like really, really pink or really orange on me, um, which probably isn't going to be an exception with this color. It's a little bit dark, uh, I think, and a little bit. I did add a few drops, a few drops. I added a little bit of their Makeup Forever color corrector primer, color correcting primer liquid or whatever the hell it's called, the redness corrector, um, in green, just because I always do that with their stuff to try and make it a little bit more olive. Um, but I'm very interested in the uh, formula. So I'm gonna actually mist my sponge a little. I'm gonna do two pumps on the back of my hand and then pick it up and then kind of like, you know, pat it out. Do you see what I'm talking about? I probably made it a little bit more yellow just cause I added that olive, but it's pretty, um, it actually kind of looks yellow on screen, but in person it looks very orangey. Fuck, man. <laughs> it's like really yellow. All right, I'm gonna, how is this so much darker than it? Damn it. All right, well, we're committing. So I'm just gonna use whatever I put down and um, just shear it out so that I get like a basic application of this color that is Definitely a shade or two dark for me. Might also be because I'm wearing, um, yeah, it might also be because I'm wearing like, the pipette sunscreen does leave um, quite a bit of a white cast, so. I gotta say the formula seems really nice so far. <laughs> it's actually going over my sunscreen um, very easily, which I was very worried about. All right, well, I'm gonna take a little bit of that down my neck since um, it doesn't, it doesn't match. <laughs> Wow, it is very orangey. Okay, I don't like the color. And when I, I mean, obviously, like when I buy something, I try to get the color that's gonna match me best. So based on swatches, based on like their description, I thought this color would match me best. Um, I, yeah, I guess that would be my one criticism of Makeup Forever. I really love them, but their shade, like their, especially their complexion products, there's never one that works for me, so. Um, but that being said, the finish looks absolutely stunning. <laughs> like it looks really beautiful. I'm actually super surprised that it went over my sunscreen like pretty seamlessly. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look terrible next to my hand. So I think it's probably okay. All right, for concealer, um, I 
can't remember if I've used these in a video yet, but they're still brand, they're still like brand new to me. Uh, this is the KVD concealer. I don't know what it's called because it doesn't say it on the bottom. Oh wait, lightweight full coverage concealer? I don't know if that's the name. Um, this was also recommended to me by Gabby and uh, she said it was super lightweight, but really full coverage. So I wanted to try it out. So I got two shades, uh, 111 and 105 because I just didn't know. So I think I'm gonna conceal underneath my eyes with 111 and then do some brightening with 105. So it's very liquidy. I mean, not like liquidy, but like compared to a cream it is. So I'm just gonna stamp it right there. Um, and then I'm just gonna focus that right under the eye. That's pretty full coverage so far. Uh, I think the one time that I tried this, I used my finger. Damn, dude, yeah. That is pretty full coverage. I gotta say, like, the, um, the, the way I apply these products always manipulates, like, how they end up looking. So I personally seem to find the best coverage using a damp sponge. Uh, versus a brush or my finger or any other tool. Um, it's just kind of like, yeah, what I prefer for concealer. That actually doesn't, that's not, um, I thought that was gonna be too dark, but maybe it's because the foundation's a little darker. That seems really nice, actually. It is very lightweight, um, obviously judging by like the liquidy feeling. Hmm. And I don't really feel like I need to build it up. Uh, so this, now I know that I only need like a very tiny amount to, um, highlight. So I'm going to go in with 105 and, oh yeah, that's very vanilla. <laughs> I'm going to pop a little bit of that in here, a little bit right there. And then I'm going to use that same sponge. I guess we're doing a full glam base today. I haven't done this in a long time. I don't know where this is coming from. I think the last time I tried to use it, I also, I like, I wasn't entirely sure how I felt about it. Um, I don't think I did this on camera actually. Maybe I did, I, can't, I literally can't remember. Um, oh, maybe it was in that get ready with me. Maybe that's when I tried it for like a daytime thing. Pretty sure I used my finger. Maybe I didn't or a brush, I don't, I don't remember. Anyway, um, I think I used my L to MD sunscreen, which, <sighs> only works for me when my skin is like dewy, you know, or if it's like a really hot day. Recently, like my skin's been, just been too dry for it. So, you know, obviously if I'm using that sunscreen and it dries out my skin, it's gonna affect how I feel about the products. So my ba like how I prep my skin is obviously like something that I try to keep in mind for that reason. I sat down and just played with the um, new Hindash palette the other day. Like didn't film it or anything. I just like played and took some photos, like my close-up eye images. It'll probably be on um, Instagram at some point. It was so refreshing to just sit down and like do my makeup for no reason. I don't really do that anymore. I gotta say this base, stunning. <laughs> like pretty obsessed with it. Concealer, foundation, sunscreen combo. So now I'm gonna use my cream bronzer. I have some interesting, uh, some very interesting products today. So this is a, a new one from Tower28, which was recommended to me on Instagram because I was looking for cream bronzers that were more golden. So I'm actually using this, um, it's a Morphe M570 brush. I'm not entirely sure if they still make these or what. All of my Morphe brushes are very old, so I kind of just need to like get rid of them, to be honest. Doing kind of like a padding and a little bit of a like light dragging motion down. Um, so they have a few different shades, I believe. Uh, I would be interested to hear people's thoughts on these because I don't think they look glittery, you know? Like, I think it kind of just looks um, very glowy, but I also am in incredibly fair, so I don't have to build it up a whole lot to see the pigment. So I'm curious if, like, there's anyone who is maybe, like, light, you know, who has this shade. Um, what shade is this? It's a... Uh... Golden Co Gold Coast. Let me know if you can see any kind of like, um, like I feel like I can see a little bit of a reflect, but it just looks like um, healthy skin to me, so. Up to the hairline, slowly onto the cheek. Yeah, 
Yeah, I actually really like that a lot. I think the color is nice because it, ha it gives you um, it gives you the best of both worlds when it comes to kind of like a golden, or <sighs> what you think of is a golden like tan, you know? Because it has a little bit of that terracotta for the base, but it's got that gold reflect on top. Um, so I think it's gonna be like pretty flattering for most skin tones. I don't know about the other shades, obviously, most light skin tones. Um, like you just get like a good combo of product. Like I kind of even feel like I, I wouldn't need to wear blush. Um, okay, so I kind of remember when I used this concealer last. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but um, it is settling like into my lines without me having like moved very much. So I don't love that. Like it is kind of wet. Like I remember, I remember using it with my Ulta MD sunscreen and it was kind of drying. And now using it with my more hydrating sunscreen, I feel like it's um, like settling into my lines. So I'm not like the biggest fan of that right now, but the coverage seems really nice and it is really lightweight. So I don't know, we'll have to see when I set it, which is gonna be right now. Um, so I'm gonna pat this out, make sure it's blended. And then I am going to set my under eyes using this uh, powder from e.l.f., which is the Halo Glow Setting Powder in the shade Light. Um, yeah, I don't know. I picked this up recently because I realized I just like haven't used e.l.f. in a while. So I think this has like a little bit of a pearl in it. It's super finely milled, it's really light. It's like pretty similar in color to my um, LC powder. So I'm loading up my brush and then I'm really tapping it off. So I'm getting it all up in there. And then I'm gonna press that under my eyes. It's not quite as brightening as my uh, LC powder, but I kinda wanna try baking with it just because it's not really that kind of powder though. Hmm. I'm getting creasing in my creases. It's definitely not for baking, just so everybody knows. <laughs> it made my under eyes super dry. So I'm rehydrating my sponge and I'm gonna press that underneath my eyes to kind of like rehydrate. That kind of ruined my under eyes, to be honest with you. I'm not entirely sure which product I should hate. I think it was the baking. The powder is way too dry um, for what I was using it for. That was, it was way too drying. So it's like very finely milled and if you're gonna use it, you can only use like a really tiny amount. I think I like my LC powder better because it's like more versatile, you know? I don't even know how to fucking fix this at this point. Um, yeah, I don't know. I tried to save it. And then I went in with a little bit of my LC powder. So <laughs> I didn't like that combo at all. Using a small amount of that powder, powder was okay though. Um, all right, so now I wanted to use this blush. We're gonna finish off with um, a blush and a highlight. Um, so the first one is actually like this lavender blush by MAC Cosmetics called Flor uh, oh, Flowerescent Glow Play Blush. And I think I bought this on Ulta.com and I just kind of like was obsessed with it. Like I saw the photo or the image of it and I was like, mm. You know, I, I kind of feel like it reads a little bit more pink -y on camera and it looks very like lavender in person. So, and I'm going to apply that with my Sigma Dream Blush Brush. It's a very interesting formula because it's very like moussey, like you can press into it. It's uh, it's, it feels like laffy taffy. That's what it feels like. Yeah, I don't know, it kind of freaks me out. It's like somewhere between a powder, or a cream and a blush. I mean, powder. Anyway, <laughs> picking it up on this. This is just like such a beautiful color for spring. I was really worried about it not being um, flattering on my skin, but you know, it's so beautiful. Curious how this would look on other skin tones though. Cause I'm like so fair, obviously. This is a beautiful color. This is actually a really nice blush brush too, just saying. So I'm just kind of like doing this motion to pick it up, because it is very unique. It's not a powder, it's not quite a cream. Uh, all right, and then finally, I wanted to try uh, the ColourPop Got Glow Super Shock Cheek in Pearlized? No, wait, 
Pearl Eyes? Maybe the name is Got Glow? I'm always confused by ColourPop's names. Um, oh wait, do I wanna use this one or do I wanna use that other pink one? They have two. This came in their collection with, um, oh yeah, this is way too gold. I need something else. Their collection for um, Avatar? Yeah, this uh, looks like it would flatter the blush a little bit more. So this is Moon Peach. Same thing. And I don't know if you guys have used these, but they're like, same kind of deal. Um, like not quite powders, not quite. That's a beautiful color. And I, I never really know how to use them, so I'm just gonna apply it with my finger. <laughs> so these are not like a wet cream for everyone who has oily skin and you would be like afraid of that kind of formula. That's actually really pretty and it complements the blush nicely. Hmm, what do you guys think about that? Do any of you have these and do you apply them with a brush? Because if you do, please let me know because I'm, I'm just like terrified to do it for some reason. I just feel like it's gonna end up looking chunky. Hmm, that's really pretty. Um, okay guys, this is it for the complexion products. Um, I think the only thing I didn't like was the concealer and also that powder combination. Um, when I first swatched the e.l.f. powder, I thought it would be really nice because it was very, it was like super fine, finely milled and it looked like it had a little bit of a pearl in it, like a really fine pearl. So I assumed that it would be good for under eyes because it would like, you know, create a little bit of a glow or something. But I think this is actually similar to one of the reasons that I don't like the By Terry uh, powder is it's so finely milled that it just seems to like get into all of your lines and absorb the moisture. And I don't know if that makes sense, but for me, that's how it feels. So yeah, it kind of, uh, it mixed badly, I think, with that concealer, which is very liquidy and it doesn't really set, you know? It was definitely settling into my fine lines. So I wasn't super wild about that either. And then the debacle with the powder. So those two are, I'm still on the fence. I really want to like that KVD concealer because it seems so nice when you first put it down. I don't know, but that's pretty much it. I love the blush. I love the highlighter. It's really beautiful. The foundation, like, you know what I mean? Like I actually really love the foundation. I think it's just, no, I think the color would be fine for like my, like all over. I think maybe I thought it was too dark because I was wearing like a very light sunscreen. Um, yeah, actually I really love this foundation. Like I feel like I'm not wearing any foundation, you know, which has been my vibe recently. So if I want to go a little bit more glam, Maybe this would be my go-to now. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, let me know if you wanna see more like categorized, like new products, like new lip products or eye products or whatever. Um, I can definitely do that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and let me know what you wanna see next, I guess. I'm gonna go.